So before my experience with alopecia, my relationship with God was kind of rocky because I grew up with Christ, but I never really had my own. It was always like in my parents' faith. And it was kind of just like, oh, whatever, like God's here sometimes, God's there sometimes. But I always questioned myself as a child, like I really want to go, like when is God gonna like move in my life? Like if he's gonna do anything special, probably not because he's probably not like paying attention to me, you know? So I think the fact that why I was so depressed in seventh and eighth grade was because I didn't have a strong foundation and I couldn't walk by myself and not be proud of like who I am or, cause now, now that I have gone through all of this, God has given me confidence in myself and like just knowledge that like I'm not alone. In eighth grade, I, it was like October of eighth grade and I was just playing with my hair. I had this really, really long, like beautiful brown hair. And I noticed a little bald spot on my head and I was like, what is this? Like, what's going on? And so I looked it up on, um, on Google and I was like, what's alopecia? I don't know what that is. And I looked at the images and sure enough, it's exactly what I had. And so for the past, for the rest of eighth grade, I was losing my hair while dealing with depression in junior high and throughout the summer between eighth and ninth grade I lost my hair to the point where I had lost like 70% of my hair. A year after I finally found out that I got alopecia I decided that it was time to like shave all my hair off and I finally was just like I cannot take this any longer and I posted a photo on my Instagram and I remember finally I was like oh my gosh I feel freed. I think the most like encouraging I felt was online because I had like women that I literally had never met in my entire life that are DMing me and adding me to groups and like talking to me and like encouraging me and it was like so overpowering because I didn't have friends like this before and so they're like the only people that really like helped me and I finally started getting rid of the friends like I had this courage built up I think God after like losing all my hair and going through like an identity crisis even as a high school kid, so you're already going through an identity crisis and then losing your hair is like an extra step onto that. And so um, God was like, okay, like you found yourself, like this is me helping you find yourself and get out of that bad situation of friends. And it's like, wow, this is like amazing because it's like you lose everything. And I feel like in the Bible, it talks a lot about like, like even if you're stripped away, you're not stripped away from me, right? You're not like, even though you have everything taken away from me, um, now I know that like I'm more than just my hair and I'm more than like the person I used to be and I'm more than my friends and I'm more than you know all of that and I know now that like I have courage to like be myself even as a high school kid. I could be going through this my entire life. I could shave it off tomorrow and I would still be proud of myself and be okay with it because I know now that I'm more than just my hair. I, I know that I don't feel alone anymore because when um, when I lost all of my hair and I was going to school every day and I was getting bullied by boys in like my science class and kids were making fun of me and didn't know what was going on. Um, I just, I started like thinking, I started getting to know God more. Like my parents were like, okay, Molly, we're gonna pray for you more. We're gonna do this for you. And it's, it's funny cause um, they did a little group thing every Monday night with George and Elaine and I remember them coming back home and being like George and Elaine are praying for you like they love you like they really you know and so I felt like when I was going through that I had someone like praying for me and I was like oh my gosh there's people praying for me even if it's not the people I'm constantly surrounded with <sighs> sorry but um I just I knew that like there's people literally praying for me and like I never felt like <sighs> I never felt like I was special in anyone's life. Like I never really thought that anyone was thinking about me. And um, so, so while I was going through that journey and losing all of my hair, I would sit in my, I would, I would sit in my room every night and I was like, okay, God, like you're moving in my life. You exactly what I was hoping for two years ago, you're doing it. So I was, I knew that he was there for me when I was in the loneliest times. Now I know that I'm not in the loneliest times, but if I do become the loneliest times again, then I'll have someone there for me always. And I'm not alone anymore. And I keep saying that, but it's truly like how, that's like one of my building blocks that I like add into my tower of becoming who I want to be is I'm not alone.